Welcome back to Dynamics Unplugged D365 Finance and Supply Chain Management A to Z 2.0. Today we're back with the letter D and D is for documentation. Here we're showing the Copilot Lab website. At copilot.cloud.microsoft, there are a host of prompts to try when using Microsoft Copilot. As an example, if I scroll down here we have a prompt to try that says summarize this doc or more specifically, summarize this doc in three key points, which could be revised to summarize in five key points, or search this document for demo data examples and other keywords. I'm going to go ahead and use this as a starting point. I have a bunch of different Word documents and I have some training material here from Dynamics AX 2012. I want to learn about intercompany trade because, perhaps I am working with an end user who's doing an upgrade from AX 2012 to Dynamics 365. I will open that document and can see that Copilot is available in the ribbon at the top of my Microsoft Word application. And maybe before I read through 16 pages, I want to just get a summary of the document in three key points. We will select the prompt or type summarize this doc in three points. Copilot looks things over and it starts generating a response for me. It starts to generate feedback using a large language model. The LLM generates a response based on its public data training and understanding of context, which can come in part from how you phrase your prompt. In my example, the prompt returns the summary of data from the document. Main ideas include the objectives and introduction of the purchase order initiated in their company chain scenario and steps for creating an intercompany purchase order with examples of the legal entities and steps were confirming generating packing slips, product receipts and invoices. We see three main key points pulled out as requested. If I go back and look at that document, I can see it talks about the objectives. It goes into setting up basic purchase order intercompany processes, generate packing slips, and product receipts, and generating invoices. It also has an introduction that goes through an intercompany chain. Navigating further here, we see legal entities examples are called out, and even step-by-step -step instructions using those examples, and navigation of the processes in AX 2012. Now maybe I would like to use Copilot to do more with this document. I choose make the summary more formal. Now I have a revised main ideas, objectives of the document, scenario steps to create a purchase order intercompany chain, as well as lab exercises and tests with different verbiage. I can continue to refine that and I can ask Copilot to rewrite this document. However, here is a great use case of how it allows me to quickly analyze important details efficiently and in the format I requested.